The Goat House is back after Monday Night Football. I'm here grading how every NFL team played in Week 8. Also putting them into some tiers here. I think the refs might have stole the show in Week 8, but let's go ahead and break down each team's performance. The Panthers tier has three teams, and one of those teams is the Panthers after a tough outing against, I mean, half the team was out, but a tough outing against the Broncos. Started with the score right away, and had nothing much going after that, and feels like this team is thrown in the towel. And we'll skip ahead when I, speaking of throwing in the towel, I kind of feels like they were the Titans a little bit, not as much as the, as the Panthers, but, I mean, offense was moving the ball a little bit early in this game. The special teams is a disaster, but they might be in sell mode now as well. And the Seahawks... Again, I said it last night, my takeaway from that game is what went well for the Seahawks. Really, you know, absolutely nothing got dominated by the Buffalo Bills. So since nothing could go right for them, uh, they find themselves in the bottom tier of Week 8. The D tier also has three teams. The Bengals, the start was pretty solid. I mean, the way it started, it's like, all right, the Bengals offense is going to get going in this one, and they really slowed down, and defense had a couple good weeks and went back to how it was for majority of this season this week against the Eagles couldn't really stop anything. So tough outing for them. And that's, you know, with that offense, we go with this could be a pretty good team, but what's stopping them from winning championship style football, what's stopping them from being like those past Bengals teams that were healthy is that defense the run defense, maybe specifically, but the defense in general in the jets. I mean, yeah, they were very close to winning the game, but just didn't look pretty. They lose to the Patriots. I mean, even the defense is going downhill a bit, just not enough offense the play calling's bad. It just doesn't look like anything's really is changed. Actually, I was going to say without Salah, but the defense actually worse without Salah. So, um, even seems like some of those players are giving up on that team. So that's, that's a tough look. And the saints kept it close for a little bit and they're very beat up, but, um, yeah, just very sloppy and just look like one of the worst teams in football right now. Just get outplayed completely by the Chargers in that game. Was tougher and tougher for them as the game went on there. So those three teams find themselves in the D tier. Quite a few teams in the C tier. I considered bumping the Jaguars up one because they were very close with the Packers. They could have won. They could have sent it to overtime, but they were extremely sloppy. I mean, Leak Willis comes in and just kind of dominates them. Guys get lost in coverage. Same old story. Broken coverages turnovers on offense some bad ones for Lawrence so as close as they were sloppy football looked like a first couple week team which is a problem so they find themselves in the seats here the Buccaneers yeah they kind of came back uh, they maybe got screwed on that Pitts second touchdown it probably was a fumble even though the Falcons did earn that the Buccaneers got beat on that play defense is atrocious had some turnovers so it's a little too sloppy I can't believe how bad that defense is so they find themselves in the seats here Ravens Put a fight with the Browns, but it is the Browns. You lose to them, embarrassing fashion. I mean, not super embarrassing. The offense moved the ball, but you would like them to punch in the end zone a little bit more. You would love for them to give the ball to Derrick Henry a little bit more. When they go away from their brand of football, which is pound the football to open up everything else, they can't seem to win games this year. Not that it's the offense's fault, because the defense is nowhere near your your vintage Ravens defense that we're used to every single year, especially you know looking at last year compared to this year. So, um, yeah, I just... But every time they try to, you know, not run the have the run game as a big factor, even though Derrick Henry was running well, they, they lose. Looking at earlier in the year and right now, but main fault is the defense. The Raiders, yeah, put up somewhat of a fight. I know they were constantly trailing. Defense had some plays, but really sloppy football. Some of these teams looking like they're playing in week one and two right now. Colts, yeah, technically put up a fight. A lot of it was due to, you know, some clutch plays here and there, and the Texans having a botched pitch, uh, you know, fumble there, but. Passing game was atrocious. I mean, just as bad as it gets. So uh, they fi they find themselves in C tier as well. And the Cowboys, tough one to grade because the way they came back sort of at the end and they maybe something clicked. So maybe positive things going forward. And then the way they started was really around the B tier, around that range, maybe generous. But they dug themselves a hole. They got dominated in the sweet spot of this game. And that's why they had to try to come back. So... They find themselves in the C tier, maybe the higher end of the C tier, perhaps. Quite a few teams in the B, C tier. The Rams, yeah, the offense clicked a little bit. Uh, they extended drives because of penalties, which resulted in touchdowns as well. So it's not like the offense fully got going there, but they did click and they did. You know, Stafford played well. It was good to have those receivers back. Um, defense gave up some big plays. Felt like the Vikings, when they chose to, they moved they moved the ball pretty easily. Uh, they kind of The Rams did kind of clutch up. You know, towards the end a little bit though, and there was there was some very questionable calls. There's a lot of questionable calls in a lot of games this week, but the Chiefs, 
Yeah, I mean, they stay undefeated. It's hard to do that in this league, but the offense doesn't look super crisp. They are missing a lot of playmakers. The defense looks really good, but it wasn't pretty in this one. Patriots, yeah, it wasn't pretty, but they did pretty good, especially given they had to switch quarterbacks. I thought May was making some really good plays, too, so it was a shame that he had to come out, but... Yeah, everyone's stepping up a little bit. There's a little bit of life there shown in this game, and they beat the Jets. was a big-time upset. The Vikings, uh, yeah, they were able to move the ball fairly easy on offense. I know things kind of went downhill when Derisaw came, came out, but they were still able to move the ball on offense. And defensively, I kept going like the defense cannot get a stop. This defense was a poor performance, and the defense was a poor performance. And because of that, I thought about them in the C tier. But I, again, I kept saying to myself during this game or after this game when making this video, defense could not get a stop, but it's like, they actually did make quite a few stops, and there's some questionable calls that reversed that, I suppose. So, uh, you know, more a, it wasn't a terrible performance with the defense. is starting to trend in the wrong direction. Uh, the Dolphins, yeah, I kept saying, how did the Dolphins not win this game? Tua looked good. It got the, you know, elevated the play of all of the weapons, not just the receivers. Uh, offense played well. The defense kind of folded in this game and, and kind of let that one slip away. They did play well enough to win, though. Uh, the Bears were a tricky one to grade. Because if you fast forward to the end of the game, it's like, all right, the Bears probably should have won. It came down at last play. The defense played good in this game. But if you look at majority of this game, the offense was brutal. Could not do anything. They were kind of fortunate to be in the game. It felt like the commanders were dominating, even though the score didn't say that. So the Bears were kind of trend, like on path to be a very, very low grade this for this week. But then things kind of changed in the fourth quarter for them, and then maybe they could have pulled, or they're very close to pulling it off. Maybe they should have won in the end, but put them in the B C tier. B C tier. The offense was, again, really struggling for majority of this game. Uh, play calling, Caleb Williams, offense line, all together, not one or the other. All all of them were struggling for most of this game, but they were clutching up towards the end. And the Giants, who just played, uh, they had explosive plays. They kind of stuck in this game. You know, Tracy looked really good. A little sloppy still. And the, the refs definitely didn't help them either. There was quite a few uh, this week of the games that kind of felt a little one-sided, even though I did feel like the Giants did get outplay. But, yeah, they had big, big plays taken away. Uh, maybe a miss roughing the punter as well, which was pretty crucial. But I don't know what that two-point conversion play call was. I thought Daniel Jones played a poor game. Yeah, the offensive line wasn't doing him favors, but... I mean, he knows he doesn't have all day and, you know, rolling out away from pressure but not throwing the ball away, stepping in the sacks. The last interception, just a very much off-target throw. So, But offense line didn't play well. Neighbors, you know, dropping the ball as well. So a um, little sloppy, but they were in this game. There was some good moments. It's another weird team to grade. It's why the BC tier, I guess, exists. B tier, the Browns. Yeah, maybe it wasn't perfect, but I maybe mean, they were fortunate some, from, from some dropped interceptions. But, I mean... There's some life there. There's some life, some explosive plays. Good to see, you know, Jameis, again, giving this offense some life, some some big-time plays down the field. Cedric Tillman, good to see him getting going. Liked him a lot a lot a couple years ago out of Tennessee. Um, you know, defense keeps them in games. Wasn't pretty, but keeps them in games, so that's a big upset win. Cardinals didn't start off good. Kind of was going, how did the Dolphins not win this game? But Kyler Murray was awesome in this game. The receivers, all collection of weapons, Trey McBride, Stepped up in this game. The offense was awesome down the stretch. Into the fourth quarter, they did enough to win the game. I mean, just shows some life for them. Like, hey, this might be a pretty good team. Niners, slow start. And they had some mistakes that allowed the Cowboys to kind of get a little closer at the end. Wasn't really too worried about it for them, though. They dominated this game. In the, again, kind of that, talk about with the Cowboys, kind of that sweet spot, which kind of put them out of reach for the Cowboys to catch them, I should say. Um, so I give them a B. Would be an A, but again, they started slow and they did allow that comeback at the end a little bit. Commanders, another weird one to great. I mean, the Commanders were very close to losing is the talk right now, but they were very close, and they were. They were very close to losing, but they were very close to just obliterating the Bears. Uh, they have to finish and getting touchdowns instead of field goals. I mean, there was some questionable things. I, something I've never seen with that 12 men that was called an uh, actual false start. That was weird. I... Pretty sure Ertz scored a touchdown. I didn't call a touchdown. He had the ball for quite a while, two feet on the ground, then fell down, was on the ground with the ball for a while. Um, I keep seeing that on my timeline on Twitter. I'm like, how was that not called a touchdown? So, uh, so some questionable things actually did not go their way in this game, and they were outplaying the Bears for a majority of the game. They were actually dominating. The score just were not was not showing it. Uh, and they almost let it slip away, though, so that was kind of an issue and maybe why they're not in a higher tier. Texans, yeah, got a little scary. It's kind of like the first Colts game, but they did outplay the Colts 
They can't have those, uh, you know, slip ups that fumble at the end towards the end there, but they did outplay the Colts by a bit, um, you know, and they took care of business here. The Packers, yeah, it got a little sketchy for them at times too. And Malik Willis came in and he actually was playing better than Jordan Love maybe at the end there. Not that I think he's anywhere near as good as Jordan Love, but um, yeah, they overall, they played pretty solid on both sides of the ball. I did think they outplayed the Jags maybe by a little bit more than the score showed, even though it was maybe close to going the over overtime. Uh, and the Steelers just got wrapped up. Offense looks like it's much better with Russ. Yes, some of these drives should finish maybe more so with touchdowns and field goals. So some things to clean up there. And then Russ's fumble kind of kept the Giants in the game. I did think the Giants were kind of getting shafted a little bit with, with some calls, but it doesn't mean the Steelers did not outplay the Giants. Felt like they did outplay the Giants, not by a ton, but they did. T.J. Watt, sensational once again. That strip sack was and, and recovery was unreal, but... Um, yeah, so yours offense has some life here, so that's good. The run defense is really the only thing. Love the defense. The run defense is really the only thing here. But, um, yeah, I just love seeing the offense kind of, kind of getting going here uh, for Pittsburgh. They find themselves in the B tier. A tier. The Broncos dominate most of this game. Uh, right off the bat, the Panthers kind of got going. The Broncos kind of figured it out. Um, nothing crazy like A++ tier about them, but... Uh, really, really a good outing. The Broncos have been pretty solid recently. Uh, and the Chargers, yeah, maybe a little slow start, but really got going, played well on both sides of the ball. There's a little bit more of explosive ability on the off on the offensive side of the ball with Herbert airing it out. Lad McConkey, awesome. Uh, and the Falcons, which was they were close to being in the B tier, but and it got a little sketchy, some fluky plays, but. Um, so explosive on offense, a dominant offensive outing. And the defense still can give up some big plays, but they make some big plays. They made some crucial plays. Jesse Bates from start to finish, awesome and elite safety, in my opinion. Um, you know, playing great. So these teams, uh, only three, fall in the A tier. And the best, the A-plus, the perfect tier. And again, make sure to stay tuned for our trade deadline videos. We already have one up, and then we'll have our power rankings at the next video in our week nine pick show on Tuesday night. So join us, subscribe to Northgate Sound. But yeah, the Bills dominated the Seahawks. It's supposed to be a pretty good game, a good battle in Seattle. It was not. Buffalo Bills dominated them on both sides of the ball. Nothing was going for Seattle. Give the Bills the credit there. Love that they stepped up, stopping a run. Absolutely love that. Keon Coleman getting going. Love that performance from him. Bills are a really good football team. They show it in a game like that. The Lions obliterate the Tennessee Titans, getting special teams involved. A little weird at first. Uh, Titans were moving the ball a little bit, but the Lions figured it out. Just that team that is not going to slip up. Everyone gets upset. You know, the Lions are not going to get upset. They're not going to slip up. They're not going to play down in the competition. They're going to go out there and dominate. Love that about them. And the Eagles looking like that Eagles powerhouse team that we kind of been waiting for. Where since that year they made that Super Bowl run, they made the Super Bowl. Um, been waiting for that. You know, the defense get going again. It's been getting going recently. People really not fully buying in. They play a really good offense, slow start, but really get going. Hurts been waiting for that. He looks like Jalen Hurts in this game. Everybody looked good. You know, getting back in the mix. The receiver's been back for a couple weeks now. So uh, they play a pretty decent team and a team that's been heating up into Bengals and they dominate them. So the Eagles definitely one of the more impressive performances of the week have another recap video highlighting the very best and the worst most impressive most disappointing of the week and again trade deadline video up we got plenty more of those to come so join us for all of our weekly content not just the trade deadline stuff but that will do it for this one thanks everyone for watching goodbye